Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this problem related to parabola conic sections. Prove that the area of the triangle inscribed in the parabola y square equal to 4ax is equal to 1 by 8a multiplied by absolute value of y1 minus y2 into y2 minus y3 into y3 minus y1 square units where y1, y2 and y3 are the ordinates of its vertices. So, we know that y1 square equal to 4ax is the parabola which will be opening to the right or left. So, we know that it's actually opening to the right only because it's y square equal to 4ax. So, it will be like this. That is y square equal to 4ax. There are three points. The points are somewhere here. One point is let us say here. Another point is here. So, they are asking us to find out the area of the triangle. We have to find out this area of the triangle. We know these points are x1, y1. This is x2, y2. And these are x3, comma y3 where y1 y2 y3 are ordinates now what we will do we will try to leverage our 10th grade knowledge where we have the coordinates of three points how to find out the area of the triangle the formula to find out the area of the triangle is half into area of triangle is equal to half into absolute value of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. That's a formula which we know from 10th grade. Now if we look at the solution, we see all y1s only, no x1 there. That means is there any way how I can convert x1 into terms of y1. For that what we will do, we will leverage that x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 are points on the parabola. That means y1 square is equal to 4ax1. Because it's a point on the parabola, it should satisfy the equation of parabola. Similarly, y2 square equal to 4a into x2. And also, we know y3 square equal to 4a into x3. So, now leveraging that, can we convert our x1, x2, x3 in terms of y1 and y2 and y3 so that we can solve it. So, let's go to the next step. Our next step will be to converting x1 in terms of y1. So, it will be nothing but half into x1 is y1 square by 4a. Multiply that with y2 minus y3 plus x2 is y2 square by 4a. Multiply that with y3 minus y1 plus x3 is y3 square divided by 4a and we have to multiply that with y1 minus y2. Now you can see that in denominator we have 4a common so we can go back, go to the next step and we can take that as common and it will become I can write down 1 by 8a then y1 square into y2 minus y3 plus y2 square into y3 minus y1 plus y3 square into y1 minus y2. Now, whatever we got here, this we have to prove that this is equal to 1 by 8a into y1 minus y2 into y2 minus y3 into y3 minus y1. We have to prove whatever we got equal to this. Now, for that, just moving forward, we look into one small observation here. When I multiply y1 minus y2 into y2 minus y3, I will get 4 terms. When I multiply that with y3 minus y1, I should have 8 terms. But when I go to the whatever now, I see that there are only 6 terms because these are 2 terms, 2 terms, 2 terms. That means, here there are two terms which will be cancelling it out. So, we have to find out what are those terms so that it will become easy. y1 into y2 into y3 and also 
y2 into y3 into y1 so they will be cancelling it out so what we will do we will go back and we'll simplify that and we will add and subtract y1 y2 y3 so that we can get our answer easily this is equal to 1 by 80 into i'll write it as y1 square y2 minus y1 square y3 plus y2 square y3 minus y1 y2 square I will not open this because my idea is to take y1 minus y2 as common in all of that. So I will leave it as y3 square into y1 minus y2. And you remember just now I said that I am missing one term which is cancelling two terms. They are cancelling with each other. That is nothing but y1, y2, y3. So adding this will help us to solve the problem easily because we want to get the multiplication again back we should have eight terms so now let us see how from the remaining these six terms these six terms how i can take y1 minus y2 as common so let us look into that so first we will see i want y1 minus y2 so i can go back and easily write down y1 square y2 minus y1 y2 square that should be okay so let me write down 1 by 8a into y1 y2 into y1 minus y2 so which part is taken care this and this are taken care this is already there with us so we can write it down straight y3 square into y1 minus y2 okay now we have four terms from these four terms again we have to get our y1 minus y2 common so if i look at minus y1 square y3 plus y1 y2 y3 i see that i can take y1 y3 common i am left out with y2 minus y1 so i can go ahead and write down that that is y1 y3 into y2 minus y1 so which two terms are gone now this is gone and also this is gone so left out is only this last two i can take y2 y3 common there and I can write it as y2 minus y1. Now you can see that in all these I can take y1 minus y2 common. So it will become 1 by 80a y1 minus y2 multiply that with we have y1 y2 plus y3 square this is minus y1 y3 minus y2 y3. Why minus? Because we are taking y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 equal to minus of y1 minus y2 so this is our next step let's go to the next step now we can take down y2 minus y3 common so the next step will be we can write down 1 by 80a one by eight a we have y one minus y two common then we can take y one y two y one y three i can take y two minus y three common so i can write down y one into y two minus y three minus of y three into y two minus y three we can cross check that y1 into y2 minus y3 minus of y3 into y2 minus y3 which is nothing but equal to 1 by 80a into y1 minus y2 into y2 minus y3 into y3 minus y1 because we are taking absolute value so let's summarize this we have been given that y1, y2, y3 are ordinates of three points on the parabola. We have to find out the area of the triangle inscribed inside the parabola. So we know that these points are also point. These co three points are points on parabola, so sh they should satisfy the equation of the parabola, which is y square equal to 4x. Therefore, y1 square is 4x1, y2 square is 4x2, and y3 square equal to 4x3. Now we have leveraged our 10th grade formula of area of triangle if you know three points and their coordinates now we see that what we need to prove is having only y coordinates 
we don't have anything related to x because we have been given only y1, y2, 3, y3 are the ordinates. So we should find a mechanism where x1, x2, x3 can be converted in terms of y1 square. We know that they are points, so we can substitute that. We can do y1 square by 4a for x1, y2 square by 4a for x2 and y3 square by 4a by x3. After that, we just try to take common as y1 minus y2 first, after that y2 minus y3 so that we are able to find out the solution. So thanks for your time and support. I'll catch you once again with another interesting example. Till then, bye for now.